but let's find out what's going on for Capricorn today. Six of Cups, Nine of Swords, Nine of Cups reversed. Okay, so somebody from your past is making a love offer, possibly. This could also be a child or a parent trying to talk to you, trying to connect with you again. Could be any past person, could even be a past friend. But you're anxious. This person caused you a lot of anxiety in the past, so you're not going to fulfill their wishes. You're not going to want to talk to them, basically, because this person's a headache. That's what I'm getting for you, Capricorn. King of Wands reversed. This could be the past person. This could have been a player. Could have been somebody in and out of your life. King of Cups. But you love this person at some point. Hmm. Nine of Cups. Okay, look, that's very interesting. How we got the Nine of Cups in the upright. Clarifying the Nine of Cups reversed. Big synchronicity here. You could be dealing with a Pisces. Or you deem this person as your wish fulfillment and you no longer see them as your wish fulfillment. But maybe you're going to change your mind. That's the thing. If this person actually comes towards you, might change your tune about this. Knight of Wands. You could be very attracted to this person. Possibly. Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups to the King of Cups. It's interesting because here we've got like player-like behavior in the past. In the present, maybe this person is actually capable of commitment or somebody's in a commitment already. And if you were to be with this person, it would be player-like behavior. So uh, somebody's in a relationship here already. And if you're going to connect with them, it will be cheating either for you or the other person. Yeah, you could be dealing with somebody who is already married. And this person wants to cheat on their partner with you, possibly. King of Wands again. Wow. Nine of Cups twice and King of Wands twice. Plus the King and Queen of Cups here. Yeah, this person's married. If you're dealing with a fire sign or you have fire in your chart, uh, somebody here and you're dealing with a water sign, you could be dealing with a water sign who is in a relationship with another water sign or they're simply just married. You could also have fire in your chart or this person also has fire in their chart and they're going to be playing on there. This is going to be um, cheating, basically. If you take this person from the back, past back, it's cheating. That's what I'm getting. Yes, exactly. This person could be happy in the relationship they're in. Well, of course, the thing is, just because somebody's cheating doesn't mean they're unhappy. Some people just cheat if they get the opportunity to cheat. That's the thing here. Ten of Swords. This is betrayal, okay? This is a betrayal. This person wants to betray somebody with you. Or, yeah. And this is going to cause anxiety for both of you. So, you shouldn't be causing anxiety here. Three of Cups. Yeah, this is a third party situation here. Eight of Wands reversed. Do not sleep with this person. Do not talk to this person. Do not give any energy to this person. That's your advice here. Let's get one last card. Six of Wands. Victory. Bingo. This could be a fire sign. There could be a Leo here. Somebody could have a big ego. Somebody could feel like they're entitled to um, getting a lot of attention. So you shouldn't feed this. Eight of Swords. This could be a karmic connection that keeps coming, circling back to you. Yeah, this is like a karmic soulmate or something like that. Some Somebody you have very a lot of attraction to. Two of Swords. But you need to block this person. You need to uh, stop allowing this person to come in and out of your life. Oh my god, look at that. Eight of Swords twice. So you feel very stuck on this person. Eight of Swords, Two of Swords, Eight of Swords again. Yeah, you're very stuck on this person, but possibly because you're very attracted to them sexually. There's some kind of... Maybe they're really good at that, or you're just really attracted to them. I don't know. Yes, exactly. So it, it's just sexual. It's purely sexual here. But you're addicted to this person because they're probably very good. Or like I said, you're just very attracted to them. And it is what it is. It's not anything deeper than that. That's what I'm getting here. That's the message for Capricorn. I hope this helps. Take care.